The purpose of this video tutorial is to show how to burn a single layer DVD, a dual layer DVD, and a Blu-ray within MEP 2015. So I've got my project loaded up. It's a multi-cam project here. I've only set up two chapter points, which are Act 1 and Act 2 for this one. Make it real simple. I've already set up my menu, so I'm going to go into the Burn module. I set a very simple menu for my DVD. Uh, it essentially, it's got a second page that links to Act 1 and Act 2. Just go back to the main menu. And the whole point of this is just to show you the Burn module. So I'm going to click Burn over here, which is going to open the Burn dialog. First thing I'm going to do is a single layer DVD. I'm going to click DVD. And down below it's showing me on the used space indicator that I'm using 7039 megabytes out of 4489 megabytes. So in other words, that's not going to fit on a single layer. So to make it fit on a single layer, I'm going to need to go up into the encoder settings. And I'm going to click, first I'm going to check the presets up here which is a standard DVD NTSC. Uh, it may not pop up at that at the first time. When you do a reset here, you'll see it's by default, it's gonna be PAL. So if you're in the Americas, you wanna set this to NTSC. So go down here, choose NTSC. I'm gonna choose NTSC widescreen. I'm running a 10, 19, 20 by 1080 high def footage here. And now I'm gonna click adapt to the bit rate to fit onto the single layer size disc. And as you can see, the quality went way down to 3963. Um, and so the quality is going to be less, but it's now going to compress it onto a single layer DVD. It's now using 4482 megabytes out of 4489 megabytes. So that's a pretty good calculation algorithm that uh, gets it to fit right on there. I'm going to encode this into a directory instead of putting it directly to disk. So I'll click encode to directory. I'm going to establish a new folder for that for the uh, video folder to go into. So let's just call this uh, temp DVD one. And as soon as I click OK on that temp DVD one, it's gonna immediately start encoding the movie. Okay, so now we have our single layer DVD encoded. Let's go back into the burn module and we wanna do a dual layer DVD. So open the burn dialog, go to DVD. And it's got our settings from the last time, 4482 out of 4489. I can go into the encoder settings. <clears throat> I can go back up to the standard NTSC widescreen. And it's going to have the full size there. Uh, I'm going to go back to the other screen and you'll see it's back where it was, 7039 megabytes out of 4489. Well, it's not going to fit. So now I'm going to open up my disk tray on my writer. Sorry for a second as I gotta bend down to put it on my writer. So I put a dual layer DVD in. Now I've gotta wait for it to recognize that a dual layer DVD has been inserted before it'll resize this. So let's wait for uh, Windows 7 here to pop up a notification on the screen that a DVD has been inserted. And once I see that, I will go to my encoder settings. Ah, it's already done that. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's already recognized. Now it's 7039 megabytes out of 8152 megabytes. So it did a good job recognizing that a DVD uh, dual layer has been inserted. So I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go back and check my encoder settings, make sure it didn't set the PAL, and it didn't. It's at standard DVD NTSC widescreen. You have other choices here you can do without the widescreen setting with just basic NTSC. You can also do AC3. So I'm gonna leave it on DVD NTSC widescreen. I'm gonna click OK, and I'm gonna to go to encode that in a directory now. I'm gonna set up another folder, just call it temp DVD dual layer, dual. And as soon as I click OK, it's gonna start, it's gonna give me a message. I forgot about this. It's gonna give me a message that says the project requires CA dot, I don't know what the CA dot is, um, 7039 megabytes of free disk space. The encoded files would not fit onto a disk. That's talking about a single layer disk. Do you want to automatically split the project into several project parts? Uh, and the original project is then played first. It's a little confusing screen here. But essentially, I have a dual layer disk in there, so I know it's going to fit, so I do not want it splitting it up. Otherwise, you're going to get an unusable disk set. 
So click, because you want it, you can fit it all on your dual layer, so click ignore, and it starts to encode that dual layered movie. So that's it for the dual layer one. Now I want to burn a Blu-ray. So I'm going to click burn, I'm going to click Blu-ray, and it automatically, because I haven't used the Blu-ray settings yet, it's automatically in the use space indicator. It's indicating I'm going to use 20,793 megabytes out of 22,586 megabytes. So it's going to use almost the entire Blu-ray disc. And it looks like it's already set. Let's go up to the encoder settings to make sure it's not going to be PAL. And it's on user defined right now. So I'm going to go down to my Blu-ray settings. And as I can see, there's a Blu-ray. 1920 1080 i ntsc 5.1 surround uh, in this particular pro project i've got some cameras that don't have surround so i'm just going to choose the non-surround version which is ntsc go back to the screen and there's my settings 20793 out of 22586 encode in directory i'm going to set up my folder for my blu-ray and call that temp Blu-ray, and again, as soon as I click OK, it starts to encode it onto the drive. That's it for burning a single layer DVD, a dual layer DVD, and a Blu-ray. One thing I should mention here is uh, I had some problems really burning initially with this program. One of the things was you have to put the dual layer one, dual layer disc in the drive. You, there's no selection point where you say, hey, I've got a dual layer, I wanna create a dual layer image. Uh, you can't do that. You need to actually put a, a disc in, a dual layer disc in, and then it will recognize that, and then it will size it properly. So you can't just choose dual layer anywhere. So that's one thing. Another thing is make sure your firmware on your Blu-ray writer your DVD writer is up to speed. Go to the manufacturer's website and get the latest firmware. I had a problem where my uh, drive had a manufacturing date, which is only a few months back, uh, but I wasn't able to successfully burn the dual layer drive. I updated firmware that had just come out in the last month and I was able to successfully burn. So good luck with that. Get the updated firmware, um, use the dual layer DVD and you're good to go. I hope this helps you.